And there is our view, uh, our first view of the Soyuz MS-01 spacecraft under uh, its large orange and white uh, main parachute. We can confirm. You saw just a moment ago the heat shield being uh, deployed. That uh, enables uh, the base of the bottom of the Soyuz with its altimeter and soft landing engines uh, to be exposed. The altimeter uh, providing uh, altitude and rate of descent information to the onboard computers for the firing of the soft landing engines just a second or two before touchdown. Are your seats primed? Yes, affirmative, they are primed. That reference uh, to the angle uh, of the seat positions for the three crew members in the uh, Soyuz spacecraft uh, for the uh, firing of the soft landing engines that will take place just a second or two uh, above the ground, uh, a final braking maneuver uh, to uh, ease uh, the jolt of the touchdown under the uh, main parachute. Standing by for touchdown. Touchdown confirmed at 10.58 p.m. Central Time, 11.58 p.m. Eastern Time, 9.58 a.m. in Kazakhstan on Sunday morning. And on the front uh, screen of the Russian Mission Control Center, the Russian words, yes to Posadka, they've landed. And back uh, with uh, television from the landing site, as you see uh, members of the Search and Recovery Forces and RSC Energia uh, beginning the process of opening up the top hatch of the Soyuz spacecraft. They have already erected uh, that uh, small ladder uh, to help uh, facilitate the crew uh, as they make their way down from the Soyuz. Uh, they'll be helped uh, into a, a trio of chairs uh, that are uh, alongside uh, the spacecraft. It's a chilly morning, temperatures around 34 degrees Fahrenheit, but uh, otherwise uh, you can see uh, that uh, the helicopters landed very quickly following the Soyuz touchdown uh, with the Soyuz landing in an upright position. And uh, as is customary, out of the uh, center seat of the Soyuz and first out, uh, the Soyuz commander, Anatoly Ivanishin. Congratulations. Hold him. Be careful. Welcome home. Congratulations, Anatoly. Wrap him with a blanket. Just like that. How are you feeling? Is everything okay? Takoya Onishi of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency wrapping up his first mission, being helped down the ladder after uh, his extraction from the Soyuz spacecraft. Left seat, please. Be careful. Welcome back. This way. Okay, now on the blanket. We are ready to take measurements. Be careful. Very careful. This way. Are you ready? Is everybody ready? Be careful. Flashing that uh, familiar smile that we have seen so often during her four months in space. Kate Rubin's now out of the Soyuz spacecraft. All three crew members out. 
Kate, welcome back. You're looking good. Hey! Wait a second. Yes. Don't forget the blanket. And don't forget to take the measurements right away. Dan, a pretty placid crew uh, after the uh, rigors of a re-entry. Uh, they all look uh, very calm, cool, and collected. Um, what, uh, what will happen now after the uh, field testing is complete in the medical tent? Uh, what's uh, the scenario for the next uh, several hours uh, as they head back uh, home? Well, since weather seems to be cooperating, we're going to go with uh, what's known as the nominal plan to the normal plan. And so the crew members now making their way to the medical tent, the Soyuz commander Anatoly Ivanishin first through the gate, uh, and then Tak and K. Rubens are going to be close behind. Uh, but they're going to go into this tent and do these tests, and then they'll get loaded into their own helicopters. And the plan right now is to fly back to Karaganda, where there are going to be two planes waiting for these crew members. Uh, first, though, they'll uh, do the customary uh, welcoming ceremony, uh, where they get some souvenirs and uh, the Kazakh representatives. Uh, but then once all of that's completed, it'll be on the planes for uh, Anatoly Evanation. It'll be on to the uh, GCTC plane, the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center plane, as he makes his way uh, back to home base in Star City, Russia. But for Key Ruins and Takuya Onishi, they'll load up onto the NASA jet, and within about 24 hours, we'll be back in Houston. So still a bit of a long day for these crew members, uh, but they are safe and sound now back here on Earth. And Dan, uh, we're getting great views uh, as the crew uh, makes its way uh, into the uh, medical tent. Uh, we're getting a great shot of Takoya Onishi uh, having wrapped up his first flight into space. And we're watching uh, Kenny Todd, uh, ISS uh, Mission uh, Operations Integration Manager, and Joe Acaba. A uh, veteran astronaut uh, representing the astronaut office here at the Johnson Space Center carrying Kate Rubens to the medical tent where again uh, the three crew members will doff their Sokol launch and entry suits, get into more comfortable flight uh, clothing and uh, they will uh, undergo uh, these medical tests before they board a trio of helicopters to head back to the staging city in Karaganda.